Oh, what's going on? Well, that, that music's real loud, too. Everything's it really does loud. Seem very loud, yeah. It doesn't look very loud on here, is the thing. So, we're going to go continue, and we're going to assume that this starts us back at the same point. If you guys. Fucking looks like so blown out. I don't know what's wrong. Like, the camera looked totally different last time. Anyway. That's, that's a little loud. Okay, that's probably better. Where am I going? Do you remember where I'm going? Go to your little uh, thing on the map! Do -do 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 -do. You gotta go get the power thingy for your, sh for your ship. -o. What are you saying? Well, right you now? can hack that. I can hack whatever I want. Well, let's disarm the security fence. <laughs> Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. There's no one in the chat. They're all dead, Michael. Oh no. Oh, don't! I knew that was gonna happen. It's too late, I did it. Why would you do that? And someone's shooting at you. No, they're not. There ain't nobody on. There's something up there. Why is my shit all blurry? Is it just from the thing? I think you have crippled or something like that. You think I have purple? Crippled or something. I have crippled? Yeah, you have. Well, it's back. Never mind. Why are you going this way? Why aren't you? Your mom's in the chat. Wow. What? Wait, I'm dead. Am I? Am I a ghost? Yeah. I don't want to say anything, but. You didn't get the. I didn't get the Twitch notification. Why not? I don't know. Is it because you're a dummy? Yeah, it's because I'm a dummy. Tip. Was this a? Was this a little raider encampment here? Man, they're sure giving me a lot of energy ammo that doesn't do anything because I don't have any energy weapons. But in the future... What happens then? You'll have a lot of energy. Alright, we got some skill points. Oh boy! Alright, now we're up to 50 here in Persuade. So now we can individually put them into Persuade if we want to. Hmm. I'm put two in Stealth. I like that. Sure. I don't put more ranged. I don't want to be no. I don't want to get killed. You don't want to get killed. I don't. Who does? Do you? Do you want to get killed? Yeah. I'd say that would be a good thing that perk that you just didn't do, but you never use it, so it's basically useless. Which one? The slow down time stuff. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry that I've offended you with my lack of slow down time. Plus 25% walk speed? I mean, I'm sprinting anyway. Sprinting is also like. Maybe it's just. Maybe that's. I don't know. That seems. Oh, plus 20% sprint speed? Now we're talking. That seems good. Yeah, that does seem nice. That just makes the game go faster. That's all I want, yeah. That's like a speed hack. <laughs> it's, it's like a built in skill points available? What the. F is this more or did I just not save them? I don't think you did it right. Now we got it. Did I found an entry pretty early too? on in the cave. Might be there for you if you go to the... What'd you say? Did you save the perk too? I saved everything, Michael. Because it didn't save the levels, so how do you know it saved the perk? Because I hit apply for one of them and I didn't hit apply oh, okay. for the other one. I gotta get up there and I don't know how to do it. Why do you think you need to get up there? Because that's where my thing is. You know you can go around it, right? That's what I'm trying to figure out, dude. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this doesn't look like a game where you can scale these. No, you can't, but also, like, going around it is hard because it's a mountain, so you got to find out the one specific spot where you can get around, and now I'm trying to figure that out. And you sound so, so smart. You're so smart. Yeah, go to the right. 
I guess we can technically go to the left. Although I don't know for sure, because it doesn't really... I'm going to this river, and then I'm going around that way. Yep, that's not going to work. Ah, fudge. We're doing it. Are you? We're doing it. We're going to get there. Ah, fuck. Well, hey, you found a thing. Well, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, we can also fast travel. That's the thing, I guess. I'm just going around this way. Yeah, you better go. You better get out of here with your... Oh, this is a new spot. See, look, 9 out of 129, 74 out of 129, it's the same ammo. No, it doesn't make any sense, because when you switch guns, you got more ammo. They're both out of 129, so how do you have 74 out of 129? Oh, that's interesting. Fuck, you're right. 90 out of 113. 9 out of 113. That doesn't make this sense. This doesn't make any sense. Because it means you have 81 more ammo on the other gun. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand that. What the? Sorry, I'm just too stupid to understand this. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Um. Eyes up. I don't know who's hitting me right now. Oh. Oh, we're dead. Okay, so this is probably not the best idea. Yes, the 9 is what's loaded into your gun. The 113 ammo is in your pack. I get what you're saying, Josh. You're not understanding what we're saying. Or Kerwit, rather. Because one gun, you have 9 in your clip. So here's the thing. 113. I have 134 in my, in my, in my pack, right? And I have 134 in my pack here. If this has 74 bullets, this should leave me with more bullets in my pack. This should leave me with 70 extra bullets in my pack. This means, let's say this bullet is called an A bullet. This means I have a total of 138 A bullets between my pack and my bag, my clip and my bag. This means I have 100 and 208 bull A bullets between my clip and my bag. This is, this is what I mean, this is what I'm saying. If it's the same ammo, one should have more in the bag because they're not loaded into the clip. My only guess is that you can have individual, like, those 90 bullets stay in that... that one gun, no matter what. I don't know. Oh, because it's committed to the clip. That makes sense, then. Okay. Because it's already in the other gun. That... Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, it's the only way it makes any sense. Yep. That's interesting. I feel like other games don't do that, right? No, usually it just... Where was that lookout? I bet he's up here. Whatever, I want to go this way anyway, so. After Texas Raid. Oh god, are we going to Adelaide? Oh jeez. Oh, it's like, hey, sorry, we didn't actually give you any fucking power. You gotta go. I hate mines. Every game I hate mines. Can't even hear right now. 
What? Exactly. If you go up the mountain high enough, do you float off into the into space? Probably. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how it works. Yeah, that's how most games work. That's how space works, I think. In general, you mean, right? Yeah. Ooh, a workbench. I'll never be able to use that again. Oh god, this sucks. Well. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. God damn it. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. You can retrieve the knife you left in the back. Jesus. My garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my oh, temper. God. Tell me, why did you do it? Oh, God, none of these are great. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You're being unreasonable. Come back to Edgewater. What happened to you? Aldous Anger had to come from somewhere. Hmm. I like three. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Hold on, I'm just trying to fix my camera. Are there space donuts in this game? God, That's probably. a very Kerwood question. That is a real Kerwood question. Quest question. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. Offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done, or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. <laughs> Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Oh, they give me a way to... Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Okay, so she's not such a good person after all. Well, I don't think she's killing people. I don't know, man. What happens when you run out of corpses? Yeah, she's just using corpses, man. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. That's... Well, I'm not done. There's another thing I wanted to ask. Too bad. Look at that. The snakes come back. Alright, well... Let's go talk to Tommy and... And uh, Grace, is that a name? Found a spoil at this rate. Oh, it is. It's Tommy and Gracie. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? All right, you and who's the other dude? Oh, you. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Wow. Hello. Wow. Are you, uh, get your shit together. Uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this 
fella here. I seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground, buddy. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? <laughs> Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you, you know were from what town I mean. or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Wow. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. You f scumbag. You should come clean then. Why are you telling me this? You're lucky the camp's full of idiots. Wow. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the My camp. dad. I know the old community center kept a copy. <laughs> Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even <clears throat> one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads. That's the one we found, I think. Yeah. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The elusive part three. Someone stashed it away inside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. It was. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for What's me. What's a bit cartridge for? I don't know. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Uh, it's time to go back to Edgewater, my dude. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. So don't work at the cannery. You want to be an engineer. That's just the fear talking. Edgewater's struggling. They need all the workers they can get. I'm going to tell them this one. You know okay. something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in God, it. God, it makes it seem so easy. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little work. Oh, bits are just the game's caps. My That's very nice. own toolbox. Caps. It's just. It's just money. Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Stay put. I'm going to go try to talk to Reed into stepping down. Yeah, okay. You know where to find me. I'm going to shoot him all right now. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Mm. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the Thank cannery. you. Codine, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Finally catching the live stream and remembering to do my Twitch prompt. I'm keeping up on YouTube. Don't worry. <laughs> appreciate it. All right. I'll leave you be. Let's go to let's go to Edgewater. Talk to that son of a biscuit. With my twenty percent sprint, boy. The son of a beach. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go to. Oh, the power's off. That's where we're going, right? Yeah. How do I? Okay. It's that way. You could probably just fast travel to it. That's a good idea. Uh, Edgewater, I imagine this is, oh yes. Whoa, oh, God, fast traveling is legit. God, that's, whoa, that's not what I want to do. I think I probably killed a bird there. Good thing you didn't shoot someone in the eye. Is this wrong to go? No, uh, you just messed up. 
Borst Worst. It's not the worst, unless it's Borst Worst. Wow. See, because now it's going up again. No, there's another There's another one. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, he's all the way up in his, in his... in his high castle. This reminds me... Where does this remind you of? Like this town? Yeah. Uh... Kind of like Diamond City? It's Diamond City, 100%, dude. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's well, it's much more well put together, though. Wow. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Buddy, she won't come back as long as you're here. I delivered Richard, but I haven't come inside to come back. I wanted to talk to you about something. Hmm. Number one. Yeah. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Have you? Change of leadership might be what this town needs. Your town's a mess. You let Adelaide's son die. Jesus. I'm gonna go with one. Okay. I am a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Well, I tried. <laughs> Uh, at least people aren't getting stuck with the plate. I'll make a clear she won't return unless you leave. I think it's I think it's gotta be one. That's a selling point. Sure. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. No, it's not. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. No, this guy's red pilled as fuck. This <laughs> This town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're gonna get sick. Have you people ever eaten an actual vegetable? Wow. Oh, you too. That seems great. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? Wow. Oh, we are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. Gross. You don't get, like, sick of that? <clears throat> that's it? Just Saltuna every single day? I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. Yeah. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food. But that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own oh, the company lied to you. Crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Oh yeah, give me that persuade. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Uh, well, actually... <laughs> Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math and it works. <laughs> She's been using human corpses. She's been growing her crops in a special fertilizer. Go for the lie. I mean, it's, I think it's going to work as long as it's highlighted. Because there, there were times where it was like live 40 and it, like, it, was, it wasn't even highlighted. It was great. Oh, okay. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Oh, wow. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. You don't have to do this, you know. Wait. Then I'm going to be like, all right, okay, tell you what, stay after all. Let's ask him his plan. A couple are. months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. That dude did fold like a cheap suit. I was like, wow, he gave up real easy. You won't last a day outside the, the walls, you know. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. <laughs> oh, God. You don't have to do this, you know. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crops. She's what this town needs. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Hmm. I thought this guy was scum, and now I'm like, eh, he's alright. 
Well, he still kind of killed the kid, so that's a little bad. Do we wait? Did they say how she how he killed her? How he killed the kid? She would he wouldn't uh, give her son access to medicine. Oh, so he's like he, they had the medicine, but he was like, no, he doesn't need it. And she's like, uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, that's, I'll make a fine fertilizer. <laughs> wow. That's Kerwin. That's Kerwin for you. No steel. But I want that dehydrated water. Well, then steal it. I don't want it that badly. Now where do we go? Back to... I guess I can't fast travel from... Actually, can I? Let's see if region works. Yeah, it does. Oh, biscuits. Man, look at that beauty. Yeah, beauty, all right. Well, if it isn't the snake. Look at that. The snake's come back. I knew. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Nailed it. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Yikes. Oh, the board reputation decreased. I made a mess of things. Guess I'm just trying to set it right, or Edgewater's better with you running the place. I like one. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Oh, you can give her a perk. Uh, 30% base health, 30% threat generated. That's nice. What does that do? Uh, it, it, the, the enemies attack her instead. Oh. Less, 30% less threat generated. So that's like save them. And plus 10 engineering. I like that. That seems pretty good. That does seem pretty good. Do we have a level two? Yeah, we do, boy. Nice. One more. Yeah, get him to 30. There you go. That's good. Is it good? Yeah, it's a nice even number. Wait, why did that other one stay at 50? Because you have to you have to do once it hit 50, you have to do it individually. Oh, okay. So I can put one point in there. Uh can I Okay. Where else? I like stealth. Okay. Good enough. Alright, now what's what's my quest now? You gotta go get the power thingy. Power thingy. Alright, let's go to my journal. Treat the power. There you go. Channel Lab is not fun. You should be able to salvage their power regular now. All right, so just show me where. Oh, literally, literally, probably right behind her. Yep, <laughs> literally right here. Got him. Let's head back to the ship. All right, so these are. Hmm. Other things you could do. All right, so you want to do these? What do you want to do? I'd stick to the main quest. Would you? Well, not not if I was playing on my own, no. But it's a forty-hour game, man. 
Whatever, don't be a little baby. Did you see the teriyaki cookie sub I posted in Discord? No. Oh god, no. Teriyaki cookies? Uh, oh. No, he he was making he's like, oh, what kind of sub should I make for himself? And I was like, oh, make a chicken is this teriyaki. Your ship? Hold on. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. Oh, when Mike's I was looking at it right now. I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I oh get God. this sinking feeling. Oh, wow. No, that's not okay. I'm going to turn your brightness up a little bit. And then I'm going to show it on the, on the thing here. This is a picture from the subscriber Discord. It's hard to see, but the cookie's down here. And, God, Brandon, I didn't think you were it's actually going to do it, and dude. teriyaki sauce and onions. Oh, God. It's the only decent mechanic, but every time I think I'm going to get the same feeling. I can understand not when to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? F off! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not interested. Goodbye. You just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cab and it's yours. What do you think? Uh, I like Two's line because I want to know why. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Edgewater was on the verge of collapse before you showed up. You sent them power, and now the town might see another season. And you talked Miss McDevitt into coming back to town. Maybe one day, Edgewater will have a garden where that cannery once stood. You ain't exactly a stranger anymore. You've done some kindness hereabouts. I wouldn't mind following somebody like that. Yeah! Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this game's great so far. All right, hold on. Let's go to the map. Josh said to do the uh, do the companion quest because it gets you another companion, so. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll just try. What is it? Just don't worry about it, okay? God. Well, I want to know what we're doing. No, it's too late. You should have. You should have read. Well, it you're you just going in blind. You don't know what you're doing. Okay. Max says the journal was last possessed by a book collector whose residence was part of a small community directly north of Edgewater. He has marked the location on your map. Vicar Maximilian DeSoto has asked you to find a uh, banned heretical book. The journal. Oh, this is the guy. The yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, find my book, and I was like, all right, cool. Quit asking questions, Mucho. <laughs> he's right. Just stop it. You have gotten through the main quest way faster than I did. I dirtled around doing side quests for a while. Yeah, I mean, the reason we're not dirtling is because, like, we're trying to actually beat the game on stream, so we kind of want to keep the dirtling to a minimum. If we ever want to actually finish the series. The series? Like, the series of, the, like, you know, uploading it to YouTube. We'll never finish if we oh do all God, side quests. This is gonna be oh, is this the place I was at? No, we've never been here. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure this is where we came in through the side before and got murdered right here. Uh, actually, you might be right. Yeah. It's from a different angle. Well, you know what time it is. Mow him down. That's not going to work, man. You don't think so? Also, if this drop is probably going to kill you, so. Well, I got little rocks down here to jump on, man. I don't know. Look, I'll just hop on this rock. Boop. Ah! Yep. And there goes half your health. Here they come! That guy's got fancy armor. Yeah, that's the ringleader. Where you at? There's a doggy on you. There's a doggy on you.
Nice. I like that when she asks that, I'm like, okay, good, I'm done. That's a good point, actually. I like when there's a cue to let me know that the bad guys are done. Oh, Jesus. All this light ammo is helpful. Did that guy give you better armor? Let's see, Michael. Alright, so let's go to here. What was the compare button? C, I think. I think so, too. That would make sense. <gasps> Which one do we have? The six? The other one on the right. Oh. Yeah, these are all better. Why don't we have the nine? I don't know. That's weird. I could have sworn this was better. Maybe it deteriorated? Is it because the condition is lower? Oh, oh, that's that's a pain in the ass. Eighty-seven. Yeah, might as well switch it. What is this thing? Is there like a repair button? Or do you have to do that at a place? I don't know. That seems obnoxious. Oh, look at this thing. Compared to our regular sword. That does less. But it looks cooler. Who cares about that? You don't care about looks? Well, not if I want to win the game. God. Nice little store here. I buy it for looks, buy it for life. Wow. <laughs> oh, two hour energy brew. Gourmet saltunas. Only two hours? It's a rip off. It got worse in the future. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stashed them all away in a cave by the river. Well, damn it. <coughs> Now your books are in a cave down by the river. I'll sleep for eight hours? No, like me like six hours is minimum. I don't care. Yeah, you got full health already, you don't need to do it. Resting in a bed is relaxed. Did I wait, really? I feel like I didn't have full health though. Well, I'm looking at your health, man. It looks pretty full to me. Hmm. Might as well. But don't I lose the things? Yeah. But that's life. Is it? Alright, now we gotta go 240 meters this way. Is there anything we can fast travel to that's closer? Not really. I just walked. You don't think this is closer? Like, barely. Shut up. I guess your load time's pretty low. Life is suffering. So this place can space fish? Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I think. Those explode. Oh. All right, well, let's. That one's alive. Is there an increase your jump perk? Cause that sounds nice. All right, we're going to the cave. This is where Josh got his plasma. Up. Oh, what is that? A weird ass snake? I think it's a slug of some form. That's what I say about you. People are like, "What is that?" I'm like, "That's a slug, a slug of, of some, some form." form. A 
That's some combo level shit we did there. That guy had some armor. Some better armor? I don't know. Six, nine, three, four, nine. But are the nines four. any better than your nine? It's the same armor. What about the face mask? Same mask. Yeah, but yours is probably deteriorated. It's not. Oh, okay. Is this just New Vegas in space? Yes. Pretty much. New Vegas. Oh, it's oh. mine. There's I, another one. Oh, it blew it up. No, it blew it up. Blew it up. What? What'd you say? Blew it up. Oh, yeah. Safe. Nice. That was quick. Journal. A toss ball blocker. I'm just waiting See, for the moment where they're like, hey, you're over encumbered, stupid. You just gotta go to a vendor. Yeah, but I can't fast travel to a vendor. Mm. So drop like a trinky. Drop a trinky? God damn it! Yeah. I think he got away from it. You don't want to get over cucumbers, buddy. I know it. That really struck me as a Kerwit thing. I was like, did Kerwit say that? What is this? Just fire? That's Some weird. kind of effect. I got over cucumbers once. It was awful. Alright, so let's... God, fast traveling is the best part about any game that's ever been made. <laughs> Look at this weirdo. This is just your your vault boy, right? Pretty much. You should find a person to sell things to real quick. Oh, you think? The walls today. Proper item management. You think corporate's ever gonna do this? It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? Is there any cost to fast travel? No. Uh, I'm not sure I made the right decision. The dessert was moving back. Even Adelaide. I just did it so I can get the hell out of this dump. I'm gonna do three. Sure. I am somewhat taken aback by that. Given the heat between her and Mr. Thompson, what deal did you strike with her, I wonder? I found she's been digging up corpses to improve the soil. Oh, Jesus. Um... I just thought of something. I just thought of something else I need to be doing. Uh, I'm gonna say I've, I've got your book. Yeah. All right. You gotta give me some confirmation. Wonderful. Here. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices. I. Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. Wow, this dude's a dick. <laughs> it's a law forsaken joke, is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty. Preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. You're overacting a bit, don't you think? That book seems a bit more important than you let on. Uh. I don't know. You pick one. Well, uh. Yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Why did you think the book held secrets you're looking for? This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution, or at least you still have a mission work here to help to give your life meaningful purpose. I like to. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Uh, what's a philosophist? Uh, 
A vicar searching for a banned book sets a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. What is a philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Hmm. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown up in the party. Wow. I'm 28. <laughs> exactly. Wow. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, uh, that's oh, what we do. I'm fairly competent <laughs> at hacking computers as well. Oh, we can hack computers. That's kind of useful. But so can we. Special counseling? Are you even a real vicar? Jesus. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Okay. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. Where the heck was the notification the stream started? Behind. Phone and email and desktop. It is my esteemed I don't know. I didn't pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Yeah, I don't... That's a, it gets real obnoxious when Twitch doesn't send out notifications. Oh, wrong buttons. Yeah, it doesn't seem... Like, it works most of the time, but sometimes it just doesn't. I thought it was maybe my phone, but it, like it wasn't on my tablet either. So. Oh, this is where you're like I need you to collect the payments. I'm like I don't care about your stupid payments. Botched? Oh, none yet. Okay, cool. That's nice. Find the. Three. Oh, I guess botched means you like failed so bad you can't continue the quest. Yeah. Oh, sure. We'll get there. You just gotta go to your ship. I get a fax when the stream starts. Nice. <laughs> Sometimes people say things and I'm like, I know exactly who fucking said that. Oh god. Do we get to go to a different planet now? I would assume so. Captain. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I do for you, Captain? It's GTFO. I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Fuck, obviously I do. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Peace out. Oh, dang it, I couldn't do a sweet jump and jump and catch. No, this isn't the sands of time, man. <laughs> wow. Prince of Persia's the name of that I guy? know what I know what it's called, Michael. That looks dangerous to be standing by this thing. I don't like feel like you should be in this room. Yeah. Are we done? Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Not worth it. Yeah, it was. I barely got for a reason, man. What can I do for you, Captain? Or install the power systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Nice. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low-altitude orbit. 
This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah. It's funny because this ship, ship and Mike have the thick. same name. Unreliable? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Why do we need a nav key to land on a planet? Slow down, you're asking me to get involved with the black market. Or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. Can I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? There's a lot of things. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed oh, wow. badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Hmm. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. What's stopping from just leaving house now altogether? Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Or should I ask how I can trust her? Okay. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. She's going to want me to do ten things first. Can I land somewhere outside Cellar Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Fine. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. You want to explain what that is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Oh. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. 
people will actually fall for this seems far-fetched. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. All right. I'll put to good Excellent. Use. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay. Where's my destination terminal? I found it. Oh shit, where are we going, boy? Where are we going? Is this where we are? Or is this where we're going? Well, no, because we're the unreliable, so that can't be us. His logic is sound. No one's going to be like, that looks like a person with a holographic disguise when they're all idiots. And also when they don't know what that is. Alright, so welcome to the system map. Here, you can see all the planets in the system as well as the special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you've unlocked, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Okay, so, journal. Speak to glass on the ground breaker. That is where we have to go. Retrieve the shroud. Let's go retrieve the shroud first. Retrieve the shroud. The temp at night. The temp at night. Oh, look, I got it. This is just too much. It's just gonna be so much. That looks really cool. I mean, that's your bin. My bin? Yeah. You can put things in your bin. Adelaide, Adelaide's the deserters dreamed of an independent life without board oversight. You taught them an important lesson. Never dream. Wow. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, it's dark AF. Alright, let's go on the groundbreaker. Not to be confused with the 6-1 trampler for 3 green mana. Look at us go. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Oh, baby. Got a sec? Uh, I guess. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? She can't be that good. This place is a dump. <laughs> I'm in. If I had to fix a station this big, I'd be spending all my time trying to figure out what needs doing now and what can wait. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Okay. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can of Borsten Beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure, we can head over to Engineer now. I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Are you asking me to leave my crew and join her? Are you asking me to leave my crew and join hers? I don't think she'd be much help, but if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up. What do you think? Sure. How about this one? I'm a test of loyalty, <laughs> I guess. Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lay and I could confabulate over wireless or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Sure, we could head over. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, I think it's time to move along. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't say that. Yep, yeah, sure, that's fine. The only two I have. And who wants to take the nerdy preacher with us? Have well, that. Well, we did. Captain. Oh, you take them both? Yeah, you get hey, two you take, two companions. You get two, okay. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Where's the subway in this thing? That's not the point. Right the around captain the corner. just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. I'm in the middle of a situation. If you could move along, I'd be obliged. 
Don't go telling him where to step. Groundbreaker belongs to all of us. Wow. Felix, first of all, no, it doesn't. And second, shut the hell up. Don't think I won't detain you again. Again? What did he do? That's nosy. I'd rather not get into it. I don't want to be here all day. Uh, you think you've got enough problems? Mind if I word with the kid? Hey, knock yourself out. Or him, if you're so inclined. Wow, that's messed up. Whatever you heard, it's all true. I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolve your difference like an adult, right? <laughs> that's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Oh, this is a companion. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Maybe. That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Technically, the previous Captain died in a horrible accident. Well, yeah, yeah, that's me. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never caught your name. I'm bored. <laughs> That's funny every time I read it. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See, See you around, around boss. Abus. 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 Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. My name is Jeff. My name is Bort. It's my first time here. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to live. What? But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, no, isn't this don't wonderful? like that. The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. All right. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea where my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Wow. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out, but that's a mistake, Mooner. I'm going to wring this Bedford guy's neck. <laughs> uh... What do you think? Just number one's fine. God, you're so boring. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Oh, God. Another quest. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, God. Seems like there's some tension between the board and Groundbreaker. Yeah, noticed, huh? Yeah. You people won't stop yapping about it. <laughs> it's hard to miss. I like that. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. 
Why can't Burnt and Groundbreaker, Groundbreaker and the board just work together? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. I'm glad it terrifies the bastards. Keep pushing them. Yeah, it's right. a delicate balance, right? We could cancel what? our freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. We can tell that you're all Bedford. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. The board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Uh, thanks for sure the thing. info. Can I find a, you want a job or no? I think that's enough. Be seeing you. <laughs> okay, take it easy. So I start blasting him, right? I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt mm. your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Can we talk? Oh, I can just take this? Can we talk? Oh, great. Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. You know somebody who can read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Only one guy in the whole colony that can translate French? The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they are fluent in it. Oh, I see. You're going to be a, a sassy boy. Your sarcasm is duly noted and it will be reflected in your review. A thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. Now, as far as tracking down this scholar... Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will a crew manifest help us track down your scholar friend? How is it the symbol Vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? That Before is I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. How will a crew manifest help us track down your scholar? Friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off world destination. All right, let's go. Thank you, Captain. Give me that new quest. Boop, boop. No, nothing? Okay. Um, all right, so not in there, not there. Uh, that's not a door I can open, right? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Distracted by the glare of the adverts. 
Lots of unsavory types about. Wow, this is overwhelming. Don't wave at me. What do you got here? Is this a gun? Oh, look at that. Oh, I want that. I want to meet that gun. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Wow. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Uh, all right, let me see what you got for sale. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. First, let's sell all our crap. Yes. 9% discount. Okay, so... Uh, hey, we got a new gun. Where, this thing? Oh, yeah. no. This is our light assault rifle. Why'd you oh, say okay. no? Okay, so we can probably ditch these. Where's the sub button? E, E, E. Toss ball blocker. Do I care about this? That does way more damage than our sword, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Light machine gun. We'll keep. What's a bypass shunt? I'll keep that. Dervish mist. Medicine. Uh, I don't like any. I don't care about medicines, right? Like, that's just something I don't give no. a shit about. I just never use meds. Weapon parts? I'll keep that though. What's this thing? Ambidextrin? Is there a way to just tell if it's a medicine? Fun times barrel mod. Armor. Armor. This one we have on. How do you know? Because of that little thingy by it? Really? Can you sell the stuff you have equipped? Probably. We could do it in all other Fallout games, so they basically copy and pasted this game into Fallout. Then wow. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, one handed melee. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Definitely sell that blue thing. All right, so is this uh this is just our stim packs, right? Yeah. Okay. Probably want to keep mods. Yeah, I never sell mods. Do I sell a helmet? Like, as if, like, if it's. I think you might have. No, dude. I don't think they sell the stuff that you have equipped. Yeah, because look, this is a gun in our inventory. This is the gun we have equipped. It's much stronger. So we can take off this sword, take off this thing, put this up here, put this up here. Yeah, so everything that we have equipped is not an option. Okay. That's good Ooh, to know. Someone has got to talk with Chief Tennyson about the thermostat around here. Whew, ain't gonna be me. So, you buying? Okay, so we can just go back here. So, got your you, 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 and. Are we buying anything? Look at these. Look at we these. We buy ammo. <clears throat> what's our What's our money at? Twenty two twenty two fifteen. That's pretty good. I feel like this is significantly better than the shit we have right now, right? Probably. Should we just buy one of these guns? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of buying guns at vendors. I'm not either, but I think that what we have is actual trash right now. Like, that was like 122. What's going on? I'm trying to tab into my... Why isn't tab working? Take another look at that half empty docking bay and tell me what you think. Okay, that was weird. So that gun was 122, ours is oh 100. Actually, that's not too much different. 75, 100. 
switch those out. So we could sell that gun, yeah. You looking to shoot targets, varmints, or marauders? Whatever it is, I'll set you square. All right. Let's I'll buy some ammo. I'll oh, buy ammo? You're looking to shoot yeah. targets, oh, targets God. or marauders. Oh, God. I have to go to the sleigh like four Whatever times. Whatever it is, I'll set you square. Okay. Mm. Got our guns? All right, cool. E is buy. All right. All right. I think we're good now. do with their waste I guess they just chuck it down here where's it all go go back to Byzantium you gold-plated bastard yeah. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything ah yes Wheeler messaged me you were coming he must be the captain of the unreliable a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. It's true. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yeah, Superfoot says when you do side quests, you find good enough loot so you don't need to buy stuff. Uh, but since you're kind of trying to fast track your playthrough, it might not be a bad idea. I agree with that. I'm going to wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Give me my back my <laughs> ship. Forget Alex. Why'd you impound my ship? Alex is important. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. Uh, which one? Who's Phineas Wells? Is that the dude who's helping me on the ship? It doesn't work. Dang it. <laughs> you sprat fuck! There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious misunderstanding. <laughs> wow. Did you hear me chuckle? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the Wow, that was easy. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Yeah, Did it's Alex the tell guy who's helping us. Wells might be? Anything at all? Why do you think I'd know anything about Wells? Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Do you still play Magic? I stream literally five days a week. Yeah, I made, you streamed Magic earlier. I literally stream Magic tonight. I write for cool stuff every Wednesday. I have two YouTube videos go up every single day. Or, uh, yeah, YouTube videos go up every single day. Link. This is just uh, a little bit of variety. Uh, why? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does I further harm. I bet he's a cool harm. guy. <laughs> that's... Uh, well... Do we actually know where he is? just terrible news. I don't know. Oh, what am I going to do now? The oh, or is that the old man head. that we've been talking to? Yeah, the one who was oh, literally on the I'm ship. Sorry. I don't know that. Who this gave us the holographic uniform or whatever. Is there anything else I might help you with? I haven't played Magic in years. I need to keep it's up with as much as possible. Pioneer I'm got afraid. me back in. That's uh, cool. Oh, right on, right on. Yeah, Pioneer's been pretty sweet recently. Uh, I'm afraid miserably terrible per is there anything I can do to help? Should I help this dude? For now, let's see what the question is. Stop playing coy, Bedford. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. How can I win your trust then? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's well, it's my white whale. Shut I up suppose. and take my money. Oh, one variety buck. Kerwood, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I can't tell you where Wells is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. 
I'd like to drown myself in work. God, they're really pressuring me to say where Phineas Wells is. Here we go. Oh, he's the, uh... Yeah, you got destroyed. Yeah, those guys are well armed. They look like they got good armor. Yeah, they do. Something about being in space gives me the creeps. They must think this is a narc stream. <laughs> oh man. Look, it's your boy. I guess you could just give him up. That's interesting. I feel like there's a lot of options in this game. I know she's in there, What the hell? I wanna wear one of those helmets. Oh, here we go. If it's between the unreliable and the rest and go, I believe I'll sleep on the ship. Do whatever you want, man. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Sounds terrible. Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Let me see what you got for... Yeah, let's just get to the point. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Please. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Mike's always lacking in the bits. Wow. 10,000 10, bits. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like, we're Real definitely going to make it enough so 10, you don't have 000? that much Yeah, yet. they're like, wow, you're never going to have this, you stupid idiots. Unless there's like a hack in the early game where you can like farm money really easily. Any chance of a discount since fit? No one's ever found my bits lacking. Wow. You've certainly been blessed with an abundance of sass, haven't you? But it's your interstellar currency I'm interested in, not your nethers. All right, any chance of discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Yeah, 10K isn't extremely Lost. bad. Maybe we'll I should charge you double. Okay, tell me about the opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Hmm. What do you think? No qualms here, let's hear the details. I'm not a big moral flexibility fan, but alright. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Isn't Auntie Cleo a psychic? Oh, come see Auntie Cleo, man. I think that might be actually right. We'll give you a swoory Japan, man. All right, why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Maybe it's some sort of automated message. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well... Maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. Got her! So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. When subtitles are on screen, do you read the subtitles or do you look at their face? I read the subtitles. So do I. I it's always weird to me, because I'm like... Well, I, guess I can I could... still see them out of the... Yeah. Out of peripheral, but... But I feel like I should be just looking at their faces, because I it's, it's not like I can't understand what they're saying. I just want uh, that I'm reassurance. I'm naturally drawn to the subtitles. Yeah, so I always I. do it. 
I just want to make sure I know exactly what they're saying. Uh, it's, if it's a corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Sounds like an opportunity. Yeah, I like that. They're hiding something. We'll figure that out. Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Oh, Anticleo is one of the companies. All right. My services don't come cheap. She's going to be like, yeah, I know. It's a nav key. I'm giving it to you. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly. I can promise you that. Ooh, girl. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. You can count on me. I'll stop by if I find anything. Yeah. All right. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Well, of course I will. What's the what's the point of doing it otherwise? What do you want to do? That's good. You want to know about other jobs? Sure. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreakers Chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. Put some of those famous I'd cookies on a teriyaki sub. Maybe we can talk business. Don't call me a liar. <laughs> Fucking gross. Uh, let's sh That's all right good for now. Anytime, sweetheart. You tell Mike's a hankering you know to get out of here. That's good. Here, okay, that's good. Take a candy with you. Oh, she gave me some purple berry bunch. Whatever that is. Nice no, come on. This is such a time waster. <laughs> At least kill someone that can defend themselves. That's an old lady, man. Yeah, but then I can just steal the nav key. Oh. Oh. Uh, you can't unlock it anymore. Oof, these are all. A stealth when you're doing that, buddy. I'm not doing it. I'm not stealing them. That's just a noise. Oh, okay. I think it's this door trying to close, actually. This is Halcyon News. Oh, well, let's do it. Where are we going? Ranged? Put five in there. Get them. Where are we going to get a long gun, man? That's what I want. I like a girl with a short skirt and a long. Gun. Boom. Ba-da-ba-da. ba da ba da ba da ba Done. You also get a perk. Buddy, I know it. Okay? I don't need your sass. Alright, so what do we got here? 50 kilogram carrying capacity. Tactical time dilation recharge rate. 50% seems good. Fast travel when encumbered. 50% companion experience from companion kills that seems good that does seem good the base armor also seems great plus five base armor yeah it seems decent. it's either that or I think the companion kills one yeah, either one's fine I wouldn't waste on the walking thing that seems stupid because you just sprint everywhere or the damage one alone in party because I'm just there's no You're point not, being yeah. alone yeah that's fine I do want a different gun, though. Jeez. Oh, look at this thing. I know she's in that there thing's crazy. Oh, where'd you get that? That's the one we had. We had that? Yeah, it was in our inventory. Oh, that looks sweet. Is that considered a long gun? Alright, get over it, man. I know you got a hard-on for long guns, alright? I do. I like Can a good rifle. This, Can I go in here? No, stupid. God. There's a lot of things to do on this ship. I don't know what to do. Probably go that way. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Jun Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Bort, nice place you got here, chief. <laughs> Fucking Bort. Uh, recently unshackled from Groundbreakers Inbound. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. I did. I'd said I'd shoot them Just in the so face. we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Marduts, the crew, the engineers, their family. 
I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. What, why would there be? I'll do whatever I can help to keep the peace. I'll try not to start any fights, but I may have to end some. What do you think? I like to. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Now my ship's out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch. Just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. I want some skills with the right so allocations. I want some skills that are what's best. I want some skills for blades that cut and guns that burn like cigarettes. That was well done. That's uh, that's a little cake right there. All right. Uh, Par 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 Parvati, you wanted to talk to Jun Lee, go ahead. It seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? What's it like being commander around here? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. I'm going to say the Parvati one. Sure. What? I didn't think you just... <laughs> yeah, go Parvati, ahead. Is it? Chat it up. That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No need to be so formal. Not <laughs> before I did continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about it. Request the time off if you need to compare notes in person. Silently encourage Parvati or say nothing. Parvati. I, I can call it Parvati like Havarti. Parvati. I think one's fine. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Wow, she's super awkward. Uh, nice job. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. But wait, there is. It seems kind of warm in here. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, <laughs> will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Ooh, that's a good intelligence. I like uh, that. Yeah. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. I love the back bays. That's one of my favorite bands. Back bays, back, all right. Uh, back bays, am I supposed to know where that is? I like that one. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. <clears throat> Couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Have we tried sending anyone else down to get the parts? I'll get them parts. Or you could ask. Good. Oh. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Can you shoot your own partners? Okay, well, I don't think that did anything, so I'm just going to reload. That did literally nothing. Or he's just such a god that you can't even phase him. But he bled. So that was... If it bleeds, we can kill it. Except if it's your companion, in which case, you can't. This is Halcyon News. Alright, let's go to... Oh, Vicar Max, do you have a perk? You do. 
plus 30 base health, plus 30 threat generate. Oh, it's the same perks, I guess. Oh, plus 10 to hack. What was hers? Plus 10 to engineering? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I mean, plus 10 to hack seems pretty dang good. Oh, wait, he's got another. No, no, that's if you select that, right? Yeah, it, Oh, it, okay. All right, never mind. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... Okay, we're going to journal. Wow, look at all these side quests, dude. Happiness is a warm spaceship. That's hilarious. You want to do that one? Yeah, that seems like it's easy. I just got to go kill some scrubs. It's so funny because I'll hit E to like open a thing or doing an interactive thing, and sometimes you have to hold it down. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling oh, on the grill. This guy's a piece of work. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? <laughs> I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. I was just exploring the ship and stumble on this level. I think it's definitely one of these. We're, I think, wait, which one are we? I think we're better at Persuade. But it doesn't matter. I think we're going to pass either. I think if they're options, you pass them, right? Okay, so which one do you want to do? Look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. I'm just here for some parts June Lay sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. So we're gonna grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. How about I just kill you and take the parts? Those parts are leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Nailed it. I just got back from my first Paper Pioneer tournament, played Grixis Dragons, and it's so sweet. Dude, that's awesome to hear it. it smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Oh, look at this thing. Is that some power armor? It's totally power armor. Hundred <laughs> percent. Who are you kidding? Percent. Do you want to go down here? Or? I almost fear that they could get sued. Like it's so. It's so just Fallout. Can you imagine being frozen for ten years, sailing through space in a room such as this? All right. So I don't think this was the way. Show me the way. Some type of way. It's not okay. It's not that. It said something about stairs. Make me feel some type of way. Maybe to the right over here somewhere. Nope. Okay. So those go down. Look, Red gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been trying to see. Careful with that shit. End up as crazy as he is. Okay, there's a ladder. Takes crazy to oh, there you go. There we go. Wake up. There's no such thing as peace. Oh, yeah, we can go down here and then just hightail it out. You're leveled up, bro. Buddy, I know it. I don't need to do that now. Why not? Because I'm on a, I'm on a mission, Michael. <laughs> Whoa.
What? What happened? Uh, Zombub. I like that in pretty much any other game, this would be a dungeon. And in, in this, you can just be like, can I have the treasure? And they're like, yeah, yeah sure. sure just head upstairs. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about these games. I'm like, God, can I just not have to fight you? You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I got the parts for the radiators. What now? What's it like being a commander in here? You don't have a lot of faith. Yeah. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight man to pillar infestation. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Yikes. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. <sighs> I got your parts. Why do I have to go to some maintenance shaft? What do you what do you think? I like to. On a continued conversation. If every repair was a one woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. I can't even have this spacer's corona. I don't know what that is. Are those smokes? I'm assuming so. Yeah, they are. Watch it all go up in smoke. Dang it, I always try to leave there. I think you're going the wrong way. How fucking dare you talk to me like this? Oh, now I'm going the right way, you think? No. There's nothing in here, you stupid Mitch. Pretty sure that's where you gotta go. Mm -hmm. Man, just walking by these gives you experience. Sprout worst vendor discovered. All right. We got about. Okay. If you had to use an elevator, it would tell you. I know, that's what I'm thinking. So where else do you go then? You wanna go in here? Mm-hmm. 65, like that's still not close. We'd have to go down in here. Can we just go oh, alright, let's go in here. Yeah, this is an elodial. You should have gotten a tasty sprot sandwich? I don't even know what that is. Man, you ain't never had a tasty sprot before? No, I'm a dummy. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radio. Oh god. What behind me? What are you talking about behind me? There was a thing behind you. No, there coded. wasn't. Stop lying. These effects are super weird. Something's... That's the last of them. Oh, good. That's great. Well then. This dude's wiggling. They oh. see me wiggling. That's super fall out right there. Oh look, that raider's still wiggling. And get those. What? I just did. No, those things on top. Oh. Those are doohickeys that help you hack things or lockpick things. Lockpick and doohickeys. I gave your mom a doohickey last night. Doubt it. <laughs> well, whatever. Good news. Strong healthy security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mandy. 
bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Speak fast if you can. Processing data. Why would you kill me? I'm like a good guy. Sweeping the area. God damn it. I mean, he's got shotgun. I like your shotgun technique. Oh what? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually working. I was like, "This is even what is this is working on?" Oh, he didn't die. Just say. All right, so we're going this way. Circle and do hickey. The lock pick and do hickeys is my bluegrass brand. Brand? Brand. Her whole brand. Incoming. Do I just turn that dude on? No. Now there's another one. Oh. Oh. I want to heal up. Oh, he did. I don't think you can save in the middle of the fight. Are they shooting each other? Yeah, they're shooting her. Kill it. I don't even care if it's dead. You doing alright, Chief? Your legs look not so good. <laughs> It'll be fine. Halt. What? I can't see- what? Is she dead too? Yeah, they're downstairs. System. I'd probably use a gun. Found a flaw in you. Plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times made you susceptible to plasma damage. You get a perk point if you accept this. No, nah, man. No. Search. Whoa, careful. There's a ladder. Where are you looking? Right there? Right there. Yeah. Here they come. Where? Oh! Stupid idiot. Did it. Let's get out of here the easy way. Is it down this way? Oh yeah. Gross. You're gross. Oh no. Got him! Alright guys, we're at about one hour and fifty minutes, so we're gonna call it here, which is a good point because we just finished this quest for Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. I'm gonna turn this bad boy in. Hold on. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Mm -hmm. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Yeah, do that. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. Of course she does. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, premium meds. 30,000? Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't have a lot of faith in the board. Yeah, all right. That's good. All right. Save this bad boy, even though they probably just saved it for us. Save it anyway, just in case. I never, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. Or you can uh, sub or follow on Twitch as well. Also, be sure to check out part one and... Uh, 
any future parts. Thank you guys for watching so much. We'll see you next time.